Court for the trial of Karen Reed, accused of killing her police officer boyfriend back in 2022. Most potential jurors admit that they're familiar with Reed's story, and some have already formed an opinion. But as WBZ's Christina Rex reports, the jury in this case is starting to come together. There's a chance jury selection in the Karen Reed murder trial could wrap up this week after a busy Wednesday. Ellen, do you think you'll finish selection tomorrow? Uh, no way of knowing. No way of knowing. No cameras are allowed inside for the rest of jury selection, but... I would like to address the issue of public interest in this case. Judge Canoni gave potential jurors the same speech from day one about remaining neutral to decide Reed's fate. Outside of court, the spectacle of Karen Reed's supporters rage on, protesting the buffer zone that keeps them 200 feet from the courthouse and insisting Reed is an innocent woman. It's this attention of hundreds of strangers that makes finding an impartial jury in Norfolk County so hard. Of the 85 prospective jurors on Wednesday, 58 had already heard of or discussed the case. 24 said they had an opinion about it, and 12 said they felt biased towards one side or the other. At the end of the day, seven more jurors were seated, according to attorneys, meaning after two days of selection, there are now 11 jurors of the necessary 16. 11's good. We're almost there. Uh, Legal I analysts expect. say the judge could Probably feel inclined 16. to finish up jury selection tomorrow by allowing fewer attorney challenges so that trial could start next week. That might give the judge incentive to really do her best to seat five jurors without allowing challenges for cause. Uh, obviously, she has no control over peremptory challenges, but she's going to do her best to make sure that this jury gets set tomorrow. Jury selection picks back up again on Thursday, but only about half the amount of people will be reporting for jury duty. So if five jurors aren't selected on Thursday, jury selection will roll into next week. In Dedham, Christina Rex, WBZ News.